Answer a simple question for me. You open a web browser on your phone, on your iPad, on your laptop and you type in paychecktoprofit.com. Where will it lead you? Will it lead you to Google? Will, you, will it lead you to Facebook or Instagram? Or will it take you to paychecktoprofit.com? This will sound very illogical, but I gave you this example for a very strong reason. For any manifestation to come true, you need to know the exact address of that manifestation or that desire in the realm of the entire universe. And one very important component of that manifestation or that desire is your energy levels. For any particular manifestation to come true, your energy has to be in the right place, your vibrations have to be in the right place and obviously just energy and vibration will not do you the amount of hard work that needs to go in, the clarity, the amount of homework and legwork that you need to do also has to fall in place. But irrespective of amount of hard work that you put in, if the energy match is not happening, your manifestation will never come true. This episode is going to help you understand the whole concept of energies with regards to manifestation and law of attraction. And by the end of the episode, you'll actually understand why is it that people who are law of attraction believers are compared to magnets that they just manage to attract everything that they desire one after the other. What exactly is the secret of manifestation and energy? Make sure that you stick around till the end of the episode and you'll get all your answers. Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Unlock the Abundance, a podcast by Paycheck to Profit. Paycheck to Profit is a community for millennials and Gen Zs who want to build a better relationship with money, identify and eliminate their money blocks, learn law of attraction to manifest wealth into their life, learn financial literacy and unlock the abundance and financial freedom for themselves. I'm Mani Shauja, your host your financial abundance coach and the founder of Paycheck to Profit. The first thing that you need to understand about manifestation and embracing change is manifestation is all about energies and frequencies. Let me ask you a simple question. Do you feel that? How do you feel when you enter a restaurant which is extremely loud? Or how do you feel when you enter a a fine dining restaurant where everything is working in a very peaceful manner, a very calm manner? How do you feel when you enter a dance club? How do you enter How do you feel when you step onto the dance floor? And how do you feel when you enter a place of worship? Your environment, the company that you are with plays a very important role in determining how you are feeling at any given point of time. For you to manifest something, you cannot operate at an energy of a lower level. For your manifestations to come true, energy is the currency that you pay with to the whole realm of the universe. Now understand this. If you're trying to manifest something that requires you to be in a high energy state, you will not be able to manifest anything in despite of all the efforts that you put in. But if your energy levels are low, you only when you embrace change, only when you understand that you will have to change your energy levels, will you be able to manifest your desires using the right amount of energies and using the right techniques and methods to raise your energy, to raise your vibrations. And hence you Embracing change and understanding the concept of change allows you to learn how to change your energy levels as and when needed. Second, your manifestations will only come true when you are manifesting for a greater good or manifestations come true faster when you are embracing, uh, when you are manifesting something for the greater good. Imagine this. Most people want to just manifest money and wealth for the sake of their personal development, for the sake of their personal growth and it's a very selfish concept. Take Paycheck to Profit and me, for example, for me to manifest wealth, instead of trying to focus on money, my focus and my manifestations was going to work towards creating more podcast episodes like this, giving out more value in form of other YouTube videos or by writing exclusive uh, blog posts, by connecting and communicating with my newsletter audience. By adding value to my audience, more and more people get to know about Paycheck to Profit, more and more people get to know about the Paycheck to Profit Academy, and that's how Paycheck to Profit Academy gets new enrollments. What I'm trying to tell you is, when I have a database of a very large, let's say 300, 400 episodes, at any given point of time, people from across the world would be consuming these podcast episodes, they would be checking the past episodes, and they will be getting value. Once they get value, they'll find ways to connect with Paycheck to Profit, and when they enroll into the Paycheck to Profit Academy, that is when I will get rewarded financially. The only reason why I'm giving you this example is for you to understand, for you to manifest your desires, try to find ways in which you can give value to your ecosystem. You can give value to people who you can help. And once you help them, 
all of that help is going to get converted into the right form of energy you will embrace every change that comes in the way oh i will have to learn content creation i will have to learn how to connect with people i will have to learn how to sell depending on your ecosystem your change could look different and that will only happen because you are now manifesting for the greater good and you are looking at change as a necessity and not as a burden and hence embracing change becomes very very important for you to manifest when you are manifesting for the greater good now this may sound extremely overwhelming because of which the easier way to embrace change is to embrace small nuggets of change at a time for that let me invite you to the profit clan profit clan is an email community an email newsletter for profit heads of paycheck to profit you'll find the link to join the profit clan in the show notes so make sure that you go ahead click on that link and become a part of the profit clan now profit clan newsletters will give you access to exclusive newsletters will give you access to freebies will give you access to uh, information and notification when new episodes like these release the, you'll also get invited to exclusive uh, master classes like the profit master class all of these small steps are going to make it easier for you to embrace change one step at a time learn more about financial abundance learn more about law of attraction and your process of changing your financial mindset will become a lot more easier so please go ahead check the show notes become a part of the profit clan because the profit clan literally feels incomplete without you the third point that you need to understand about embracing change is that journaling is one of the best ways to embrace change and get into the right mindset any sort of a change to become a reality it has to the seed of that change has to come from within journaling is a great way to create a space and accept and embrace any form of change in fact in the next episode i'm going to deep dive into the concept of journaling so if you want to learn about it make sure that you are subscribed to the channel the youtube channel or the podcast depending on where you are consuming this episode journaling is a very very important component for any change to happen because it creates the mindset it gives you clarity it gives you the process the steps that you will need to change uh, the steps that you will need to adapt to to embrace that change and to make that change a reality in your life so journaling is very important and make sure that you are subscribed to paycheck to profit across social media for you to get the notification about the next episode when it releases the fourth thing that you need to understand that change as a process will always be messy imagine when you send your car to the garage or to the service center for regular overhauling just getting a regular checkup done for your car the battery checkup how will that process look like is it just going to be a superficial process no your car gets cleaned multiple times it has to go through multiple machines it has to go through multiple processes when the oil gets changed the entire oil spills into a particular vessel and new oil gets added people the technicians and the mechanics that are working on your car their hands get dirty your car gets dirty it has to get cleaned again and again so before uh, when you go and park the car into the service station and when you take it out the entire car has gone through multiple forms of change even if they are very small and minuscule changes but every change matters and that entire process of your car getting serviced it is a very messy affair same is the case with your manifestation process you will have to go through multiple small iterations of changes you will have to go through multiple processes you will have to learn how to adapt at every level and only when you are able to embrace change in the right perspective with the right mindset will this process become a lot more rewarding for you the fifth way to embrace change and to understand the importance of change in your life is to practice gratitude when you are dedicated and when you are sincere and you stay back till the end of the episode it's my responsibility to give you a cheat code that allows you to and to embrace the whole process of change and make that entire process a lot smoother for you the answer to accept any sort of change in your life is to start practicing gratitude gratitude is one of the best thing that has happened to me and in, in my life it has helped me in my overall law of attraction methods and practices and it has literally been a life saver for me you need to understand something the when you learn how to acknowledge respect and embrace what you already have everything that you already have you start creating a very positive source of energy from within you you look at everything as 
gratitude i'm so grateful that i have access to this phone i am so grateful that i have access to this pen i am so grateful that i have access to these earbuds everything when you channelize every position every feeling every emotion every instance every incident in your life through gratitude you are creating a powerhouse of positive energy in and around your life gratitude is gratitude for what you have reduces the need to change too much because you are automatically creating a process a, you are creating a an environment in your own life where the where your feeling so content with everything that you have that the need for something else a need for something that you don't have keeps getting smaller and smaller and the only thing that you'll focus on is change that is required for you to keep progressing in your life change for you to actually unlock much better things in your life in the future if you want to understand how does gratitude actually work make sure that you go ahead and leave a small comment with the word gratitude in the comment section if you are listening to this podcast episode on an application of your choice you will find the link to the youtube episode of the same podcast so you can click on that link and leave the comment gratitude in the comment section and i will definitely create more podcast episodes uh, regarding this concept of gratitude in the future very quickly let me summarize also if you are going to the comment section make sure that you feel free to leave comments feedback about this episode ask me questions about law of attraction magic um, money mindset money blocks anything that can help me create more value for you in future episodes and answer your questions and give you more clarity on anything to do with the process of manifestation law of attraction and helping you enhance your money mindset and unlock the abundance very quickly let me summarize all the five points that we've discussed today manifestation is all about managing your energy and frequency so when you embrace change you will be able to manage your energy and frequency accordingly try and manifest everything everything for the greater good don't be selfish and focus on manifesting something that allows the entire ecosystem to benefit from your manifestation journal and embrace uh, journaling is the best way to embrace change and improve your money mindset understand that the change is as a process is always going to be messy so don't worry about how complicated the process of change is going to be just take one small step at a time and it will lead you to your entire end goal and fifth and the most important thing learn to practice gratitude for you to make your entire process of change and embracing change a lot smoother and a lot more easier if you've been listening to this episode till this moment thank you so much please uh, take a moment and drop a like or a five star depending on the podcast application of your choice to show your support to this particular podcast you will also find the links to all the social media platforms of paycheck to profit and if you would like to connect with me you'll find my socials in the show notes of this episode so make sure that you reach out to us and connect with us on youtube uh, on instagram you can also connect with me on instagram linkedin threads and all the other social media platforms i'm re- fairly active on all of these platforms you'll find all the links in the show notes below do you now see and understand what i told you at the start when you start living a life of design when you start understanding that you are trying to manifest something for the greater good when you your when your energies are much better regulated embracing change becomes second nature embracing change actually becomes a part of understanding for you. it's a part of the process this is how when embracing change and manifesting and living a life of law of attraction and living a life by design becomes your second nature you you automatically become a magnet who is only trying to manifest things which take you to a life which is full of peace which is full of freedom and which is full of a lot of thought process if you've enjoyed this episode i would really like to recommend you to check the seventh episode of this podcast it is called learn how to overcome scarcity and embrace manifestation a lot of times change becomes difficult because you're operating out of the space of scarcity if this episode has uh, brought value to you i will definitely request you to check that episode because it will give you a lot more perspective thank you so much for listening to this entire episode and watching it till the end i really appreciate your commitment to your learning and your personal growth please do not forget to give me your comments in the Uh, give me your feedback in the comment section i look forward to connecting with you do not forget to join the profit clan the clan literally feels incomplete without you and i really appreciate your company for the for today and cannot wait to connect with you again soon please take good care of yourself keep 
keep smiling keep going keep growing